Hi, after the long and exhausting tutorials about gradients, here comes another long one about creating patterns. And um, as you can see here, we don't have any button to create a pattern. So we're gonna have to do that in a little bit different way. We have the ability to refresh. We have the ability to open pattern as an image, which will open the active pattern as an image. And uh, here I have the ability to delete them, but you probably don't because uh, we don't have the ability by default to delete our brushes, uh, gradients, parents, palettes that come with GIMP. But I'll show you right now how you can do that, though I don't recommend it. Here in preferences in folders, for example, parents, I have two uh, paths of where my uh, files are stored. So by default, only this one was active. And if I activate the other one, click OK, and I'll have to restart GIMP, and then I'll have the ability to delete my patterns. Here I cannot edit them, but for example, with gradients, if you do that with gradients here, the same thing, you will be able to delete or edit the gradients that come with GIMP. But I do not recommend that because in gradients I show you how easily you can uh, make changes to a pattern, to a gradient, I'm sorry, and uh, you cannot revert that. So just don't do that, leave these patterns here, unless of course you don't need them and you want just to get rid of them or some of them, you can use that option. So let's get back to patterns here. In the configure this tab, options menu, nothing different here except the parents menu we have the ability to refresh delete right now because i have that option in preferences selected i can delete this pattern that comes with gimp i can open pattern as an image and um, copy pattern location which will copy the location of this file on your clipboard and in your text editor or even in gimp text tool here you can make a window Control V or paste that and you'll see where your files are being stored. You're gonna need that to be able to save that files in, that, in this folder. Because if you don't save them in the correct folder, they will not, uh, you will not be able to load here. So let's create a new file here right now. Select the bucket fill tool, pattern fill select this pattern you see this is a pattern that comes with GIMP how that works and now I'll show you a um, technique and a little trick how you can create a pattern uh, from an image so if you go outside and shoot some image of grass for example let's say that this is grass right now grab your crop tool and just crop this area here like that and I'm going to go here file save as find my patterns here I've added my folder you have to find it here from browse for other folders and here I'll call this let's say test 5.pat click save here I'll call it again test 5 click save again now I'm going to refresh here and this pattern appears here test 5 let's undo some steps here select again the bucket fill tool pattern fill and select this test 5 and do this and now if we zoom in you'll see what's happening here this uh, is not seamless pattern so we have this this is not a smooth transition as you can see so this was the wrong way to do that let me show you the right way let's again film with this pattern from GIMP let's again crop
and now we have cropped this I'm going to duplicate the image here I'm going to select one of the filters map make seamless now you see how this may change to our pattern and I'm going to control Z to undo that and you'll see the difference basically it's blending different uh, parts of the images together so it can make this pattern seamless but the filter does not work very well you see here that we have a lot of blurriness and uh, it gets really bad quality that's why I'm going to I made this duplicate here and I'm going to select my race tool I'm going to add an alpha channel here and uh, now I just select first a fuzzy brush make it bigger and I'm just going to erase some of the modification that this filter did you see here in the image how I'm erasing some parts and I'm leaving only the outside parts using fuzzy brush So let's now flatten this image. Go ahead and save it as test six. And let's close this. Let's refresh here. Let's make a new image here. Bucket fill tool, pattern fill. Let's select our test six and fill this. So you see now that we don't have that. Um, we have smooth transition. This is a seamless pattern. So you can use this uh, with your images. Like I said, you can go outside, shoot something and then use this technique to create a pattern from an image some grass perhaps some wall on macro mode you'll get some really nice cracks like this one so this is one way you can create patterns from an image now you can create them from scratch but here I don't have the time maybe in the future or in a more advanced tutorial I'll show you how you can create some uh, more advanced patterns with more unique and uh, sophisticated graphics but let's now just create one really simple one make a new here let's select a hundred by a hundred pixels and I should have said this on transparency I'll just delete this background and I have my transparency now and here I'll select my brush tool select the hard edge brush and um, I'll drag some guys here in the center of the image horizontal and I'll just use my mouse to get the other one and now with the brush tool I'll make it smaller I'll hold down the shift key and I'll click here and I'll get this line also hold down the control key to restrain this in an angle you see how it's jumping I think it's 15 degrees and just click here and I'll do it again then I'll do the same thing with the other line here first click then hold down the shift key and the control key Let's select the move tool with them. Close that. Remove these guides and then save as. And here let's call this simple dot pad. Save. Let's call this simple 
because it's really simple let's close it all new make a new from a template here select the bucket fill tool or maybe next let's do this with the clone tool here this time and the source pattern and refresh here to get this simple pattern that we made yeah this is the one make the brush bigger and you see what's happening here you can paint this pattern so that's basically it for this video about creating patterns and uh, only your creativity can stop you here from creating some really nice and cool graphics so take advantage of this uh, tool in GIMP bye for now